Greetings. I've been working on the reconciliation minor for the last three years with a committee of faculty and staff, and I'm very excited that next fall, 2010, we will be launching this minor. As a university, we've made reconciliation studies a key signature for our university. And so to be able to offer a more cohesive approach to studying courses around themes of reconciliation is just thrilling for a number of us. Reconciliation is at the heart of the Gospel, the gift of God in Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. And so as a Christian university, it's really vital that we be able to inform students what does this mean, what does this look like, both within the church and within the various vocations for which students are training. We're really excited about structuring this minor around Galatians 3.28, in Christ there is neither Jew nor Gentile slave nor free, male nor female, for all are one in Christ. And so we will look more deeply at the biblical theological perspectives on these issues. And then students will also take courses in sociology and anthropology. And in these they'll focus on what are the walls that divide us? What are the roots of things that separate us from one another? And how do we begin to think about overcoming those divisions? The other aspect of this minor that is very exciting is that students, for the most part, will be able to take an integrative course in their own major study program where they'll study issues of reconciliation within literature, within business, within education, and find in their own sense how their own vocational calling can be integrated with sharing and partnering in God's work of reconciliation. So for example, students could take a course in literature, the literature of South Africa, and explore as a part of this minor what has been going on in the last few years, the last decades in South Africa in drama, literature, poetry to move that country forward. We are thrilled also to have the Perkins Center to, to work with us to provide practical applications for students to work on issues of reconciliation. The Perkins Center has been at our university for a number of years and they've established a lot of connections in the city and around the world, people who are already working in ministries of reconciliation. And so they can help our students to see what this long and slow process looks like in moving towards justice and sharing in what God's doing in the work of reconciliation in our city and throughout the world. 